Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you live week two of the PML draft. So we do have Casper uh, versus us this week, uh, Serene Gray Shockwave, and he brought pretty much exactly what I thought he would. Um, I do want to get webs up. It's going to be helpful. So we do got to watch out for that turn one Zoroark trying to set up with the nasty plot, and um. Yeah, so it, I'm expecting Frost last to lead. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get it going. Um, I actually expected Gastrodon. And he didn't bring Gastrodon. So, that's certainly going to be something different. I should have led Swampert, actually. Too late now. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and start off with this and see how we go from here. Good luck, have fun, Casper. I'm assuming that's enough. Alright, he leads off with Snow White, so Frostlass is the lead. Alright, we got Black Widow going here. Um, he might go for Taunt. So let's just go for the Thunder here. And uh, if he Nasty Plots, it could still be Frostlass, but... Most likely will be the, uh, the, the Roar. I mean, either way, if we hit it, we'll find out if it's really what it is or not. But we're just going to hit here. I don't want to get taunted and then uh, kind of waste my first turn. Alright, so we are faster. There was no taunt. Oh, and it is the Rourke. So good play for us here. Now I'm just going to go for the sticky webs. Since I know he's just going to attack us here. I really want sticky webs because uh, uh, Choice Scarf Nido King can actually put in work against my team. And we still have answers for the work. Also, he didn't bring Jolteon or... Uh, what do you call him? He didn't bring Jolteon. He didn't bring Sylveon. He could have brought a whole different team. Nonetheless, good lead on his part so far. We're just going to go for the U-turn here. We can take any move. Oh, and that helps us. I mean, we are assault vested, so I'm not sure how much that would have actually done. We do have really good bulk in our special defense. But either way here, let's go ahead and lead Flick here. We pretty much get a free hit on anything. If he goes blaze again, we're maxing. Anything else, uh, we'll just hit the hit the move. But uh, even then, at least blaze again will be minus one starting off. So one speed boost ain't gonna be enough. Let's see what he decides to do here.
taking time to make this pick. Let's see what he decides to go with. All right, he goes Hooters here. That's the one mon we really didn't want to be in front of here. So let's go to, do we just hit? Let's go to Aquafista here. I'm gonna get the deep off. Uh, that sucks. I, did, I just thought of that too. So now he's probably gonna keep webbed off the field. No, he goes for Hurricane. Decent damage there. Hopefully he didn't bring. Uh, hopefully he didn't bring deep up. We're gonna go for the toxic here. Reliable chip damage. We're not gonna be able to earthquake this thing. But hopefully he stays in so we can get the toxic off at least. And he nicknamed it Hooters. That's what I normally nickname my uh. My hoot hoots too. Okay, so he goes sub here. And it looks like he's gonna try to set up with this thing. Let's go ahead, run out of here, go to Sharknado. See what he decides to do. Calm mine. Nasty fly. Okay, so this, uh, <laughs> this Noctowl is starting to be a problem. We're going to go ahead and go for the skill shot here. Hopefully we can live the next hit. Hurricane Mist would be great. All right, let's get five hits here. Oh, we only got two. Come on. Oh, well, at least we got our speed boost. Hurricane's gonna hit. How much does this do? More than enough. So down goes our Sharknado. We're not gonna get no sweep with that thing. But at least now Noctowl is low enough health to uh, probably take out with max steel spikes. So we're gonna go ahead and start start a tear here. That Noctowl was actually scary. Substitute Nasty Blood Hurricane. And just in case Iron Head doesn't kill, I, I want to get this kill here. And doesn't hurt to boost our defense at the same time. That really got me. <laughs> I was I was really hoping to get that toxic off. But very, very good play there. Good offensive knockdown. Now what does he send out here? Is that a toxic? I should have probably went stealth rocks. But you know. 20, hindsight's 2020. No, no point in thinking he was actually gonna go for that. All right, so now we go for the max quake. And 
And even if you scarf, we should still be faster. Knockout Nido King. So Durant putting in work. Second kill of the game, and we get a special defense boost on top of it. All right, Nicki Minaj is in. Cut on the sticky web, of course. And now we can go for the Max Flutterby. So that Nicki Minaj goes down. Beautiful. Durant is on a tear. Alright, so Fluck Norris is in. This is probably where he Dynamaxes. I, I want to assume he protects here to get the speed boost, but I'm just going to go Stomping Tantrum. I don't want to risk taking the hit for no reason. Yeah, there we go. So we'll still get a chunk off. He'll kill us in return. Unless he goes max knuckle to get an attack boost. But I doubt he does that. I'm sure he just goes straight for the kill. Does a good chunk. About half. Okay, so he goes for the max airstream to get a speed boost. So that will... Plus two, technically. So now he's technically plus one speed. And I just got to go for the stomping tantrum again. This is where it can get out of hand, though. Max Knuckle, we are plus one defense. And even then, not enough. So that's two turns. I'm going to go Nacho Libre here to knock down that attack boost. And I just got to assume a max knuckle here and go straight into Drifloon. Judging from how long he's thinking about this move, though, I don't think he's going to. Okay, so he does go the max knuckle. So lucky for us, we do get that off. He has no attack boost now, but he is very fast. And now we go for the psychic here. We should live a thunder punch, a flare blitz we don't live if it's adamant. If it's jolly, we potentially live. Very interesting here. Going to Frost Guys. And we hit Psychic here. Alright, so we're going to switch out to Nacho Libre. We are AV. So we should be able to live any two, three hits. Oh, he's actually pulling a double. Interesting here. Very interesting play. So we get the Intimidate drop off.
and I'm gonna go for the Did he switch again. I'm just gonna go for the earthquake. He can't knock us out here, and if he switches, we get some chip damage off on Frost Left. And we are faster. Very interesting. And Cluck Norris goes down, and Cinnor gets a kill here. Uh, it was a crit, but I don't think it mattered. He was at about half health. And now we should get the kill with knockoff on Snow White. Wonder if we'll be faster here too. I have no speed investment in this thing. So that was a very interesting play. I'm sure that was Adamant then. Triple Axle does nothing even though it hits three times. And Incineroar will get a kill here as well. So boom, we redeem ourselves. We uh, we end up one and one. GG Casper. Oh, choice scarf. All right. But very good week two battle, and we'll see you guys next time.